Hello and welcome back to Legends of the Dead. There is only one thing I want to achieve this time, and that is becoming an empire. Well actually no, there are two things I want to achieve. The two things I want to achieve is I want to become an empire, and I want to uh, sort out all of our courtiers because they're all a complete mess and things aren't looking good. Actually there are three things I want to do. I want to create an empire, I want to sort out our courtiers, and I want to marry off all of the family members who we ignored last time because that's a pretty big deal and we need to sort out that. And potentially there's a new heir in there so maybe we want to have a look at our election stuff so that's all cool. Well actually there is another thing I want to do, of the things I want to do, I want to create an empire, I want to sort out our courtiers, I want to sort out the marriages, and somebody in the comments said can I have a look at the family tree, and you know what, that's a nice easy one, we'll start with that. Let's have a look at our family tree, and they wanted to see it just because we have a lot of living members, and, well, it's quite interesting to see, um, and we might as well do it now, because late game, it breaks, so let's not do that, uh, then. So, yes, this is our family tree. Uh, it's pretty large, so this only goes back to Heisinger. It doesn't go back another generation to Solvi. We can make it go back another generation. Let's go back. There we go, and then that's the starting of the dynasty. So, yeah, it's a pretty large dynasty. Uh, I don't know if there are any, oh no, I was gonna say I don't know if there are any repeating people in here yet, but there we have it, repeating. Oh, actually, when I did this, there was another one, yeah, yeah, there's another one over here, so this also repeats. Yeah, this is why it doesn't work late game, because repeating is almost fine, it just means it's gonna take a really long time. What happens late game is it starts looping. So you have um, somebody is somebody else's child who marries somebody else, who is then married to somebody else, who is then higher up on the chain, but then actually those two children then marry, which then means that um, they're on both sides of the family tree, and then maybe their children marry someone else who's done the same thing, which then means that there's like four sides of the family tree and it's duplicated four times and very, very quickly. It's very, very silly. But, yeah, that's our family tree. It's very, very large right now and it's very wide. There aren't a lot of generations, but it's wide, which is good. That's where we want things to be. We want a very wide family so that we can effectively have our choice of heir at some point. We can effectively, at some point, just go through the list and go, Hmm, yes, I'll have that one. That one's good. They've got good traits. And it'll all be good. So, that was uh, the first thing I wanted to do. Next, I think what we need to do is we need to sort out our courtiers. We are going to declare war as our first thing when we unpause the game. But we can sort out our courtiers without unpausing. So, it has to come first. Um, there are many ways we can handle this. We have unmarried family members. Do we do them first? Yeah, let's do them first. So, let's start with our grandson. He is blinded and he has lover's pox. So, he is never going to be an heir. Like, he's never going to be, um, yeah, an heir. I think he is completely and utterly out of it. So, let us marry him off matrilineally. Maybe to Yamatland? Do you hate me? Why do you hate me? Want a seat on the council? Di minority disapproves of conversion? Uh huh, because you're not the our religion, I see. Yeah, yeah. Other reasons for hating me. Many other reasons for hating me. You could marry uh, our um, grandson, though. That would be fine. Yes, we'll send you someone with lover's pox. That will uh, definitely make you approve of us. And it gets us an alliance with them, which, although it means we can't do anything against them, also means that they can't do anything against us, which is, for now... Beneficial. We're not quite at the point of sorting out our uh, vassals, so let's send uh, him over. Githa. Uh, she seems like a solid, drunken uh, warrior, similar to us. What are we going to do with her? Um, guess we could marry her off. Is she? She is a champion. Uh, what's our champion level? By that I'm meaning, what what level do people start becoming champions in our court? Uh, so, that is currently 16 prowess. So, uh, we don't have a lot underneath it, actually, who are relevant either. We only have three who are really relevant under that point. And then we have a couple of fours that are, like, might as well not even be here. So, 
Yeah, she's reasonable. 18 does make her one of the worst ones, but like, she's not completely and utterly useless. So, uh, oh, also I have five men at arms, so let's just station this one, even though there's no reason not to, because it'll get rid of the, or sorry, there's no reason to station it and no reason not to station it, because it gives us zero additional progress per day, but it gets that thing saying, hey, please station your units uh, off the screen, which is quite nice. So, anyway, where was I? Uh, family member. Githa. You. I think I'm going to drag someone into my court with you. So, we're looking for a matrilineal marriage. Uh, probably an inheritable trait, actually. That seems like a good thing. Inheritable trait, and then... Maybe we just drag in prowess. Like, a uh, Leoter here would be fine. If we got somebody better... Uh, maybe we want to look for somebody a little bit younger. Like, try and get some younger people in our court in general. Let's say that there cannot be an age difference of over 10 years. There we go. Uh, so maybe Ulfer here. Oh, he's really bad. Wow, Prowess drops off a cliff. Okay, why is he so bad? Because he's craven. Yeah, look at that. The Prowess numbers are just not in any way good here If we if we do that. Is there any other things that we could do? We could try and get, like, a good uh, one of these traits in somewhere if we wanted to. Maybe try and bring in somebody with a little bit of high learning. That could be okay. Yeah. Let's just bring in some interesting people. You, you've you got an inheritable trait, which is your worth for us. And uh, you are bring high learning with you, which might be good for some court positions. So let's do that. Next one, we have Freydis. Freydis is a much better commander. Now, she does have lover's pox, but she is also a giant. So let us see whether we can get a giant in here. Um, it's also been suggested, by the way, that what we might want to do at some point is get some people in specifically for educating, and we choose the... and we get their personality traits to match the personality traits that we want from the education. So, when we eventually want to have an heir... Um, and we've like, this person looks great. They've got the right inheritable traits. Their stats don't look too bad. They want an education that we want. We then send them to the person who we've got with the right personality traits and great, um, like, genius or something like that. And then we get them to educate just the people we think could be an heir one day. It's an interesting idea. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to use my courtiers for that if I do this. Uh, where was I? Yeah, I was just typing in giant. That's what I was doing. Giant. There is one giant who matches the criteria. Well, perfect. That works for me. Next, we have Freaker. Uh, again, not fantastic on the prowess uh, side of things. Um, but, yeah, he's a giant. Let's see who we can get you to marry. Maybe... Well, if they're, these guys are all giants, does anyone have a second trait? Oh, there's only four. It's not going to take that long to go through them. Uh, yeah, you can marry that person. They're, they're the best of the bad bunch. Uh, the chance of children low comes from him due to chaste. So that doesn't really matter. It'll be the same for everyone. Right. Uh, Sigrither. You have pretty good um, prowess. Now, you're not a giant, so we don't need to match that. Let's just look for an inheritable trait. And see what we got. Have we got any geniuses yet? No. We could maybe marry you to somebody who's intelligent. Yeah, why don't we marry you matrilineally? Maybe to this very, very smug-looking fella? Sure, why don't you marry this smug-looking fella? Right. Uh, that's fine. You? Reasonable, it's like the same level of prowess basically that everyone else is at. There was another quick person. You can marry this guy, Roggenvalder. That's fine. That was matrilineal, right? Matrilineal auto sets. It does. The reason matrilineal now auto sets is because our um, succession is now uh, equal, and that's what controls this tick box basically. So that's cool. And then we have you. You're a giant. Is there anyone giant-like who could marry you? Giant. My grandson. Yeah, that seems like that's not going to happen right now. We, we could wait a couple of generations before... Actually, let's type in giant again. 
Uh, we could wait a couple of generations before going um, full family circle on here. So when we go into family tree, it is just a circle. Uh, how about this person? He's 37. He is craven, but yeah, I don't think... Yeah, it's not great, but, you know, whatever. Let's bring him into our court. I think that'll be fine. We're bringing him in purely for giants, so... I mean, that's fine. And it, he's young enough that they're going to have children, probably. That works for me. Right. Send that through. Next step. I want to have a look at our courtiers. So, uh, courtiers um, are then going to have a look at courtiers who are not my religion. Actually, let's include my dynasty in this next bit. Not my religion. Okay. Convert. Nope. Okay, I'm not spending any money on it. Oh, ooh, that, that was almost terrible. Almost just converted to her faith. 70% I'll send through. The reason I'm not sending through the, like, impossible ones is because, um... Yeah, they're, uh... It, it's like a couple of years before you can redo it, so... We, we don't want to waste them. Uh, nope. Okay. And then Ruta will also not convert. Okay, that's fine. Just thought I'd have a look there. Let's now switch this back to all and not our dynasty. So there's only 10 characters. Then we're looking for characters who are unmarried. All right, that's a pretty easy list. Concubine, concubine, not marrying, you need to marry. Okay. Matrilineally, you're gonna marry. Uh, we don't need the giant trait in here. Um, is there a genius we can drag into the court? Like a single genius? There is! Kevdor? I mean, you are arbitrary, shy, and compassionate, which are maybe three of the um, traits that I would not want to pass on to children, but a genius in our court is something that we can very rarely get. So let's grab a genius while we can and see where we can go from there. Maybe they have ge genius children. Uh, that'll be fine. Right. Uh, next step. I actually took not as much time as I thought it would there. Uh, I'm going to go back to the default court here. Th actually, let's just reset. We need a new one here. I'm going to go direct vassals. And I'm going to do not my religion. Yeah, let's do it. Let's save a filter for this. Uh, we're going to call this one direct vassals uh, not religion which i think will pretty much say what that one's gonna be there we go so that that'll give us our um list and then here i just want to go can we convert them N not a high chance 67's not high enough for a vassal that's a that's a no and that's a you're already considering the alliance okay cool uh and then i think we're done then i think we're ready to unpause when I said we're going to declare the war immediately, I was like, mm, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to wait for all of these things to go through. Then we're going to declare the war. But yeah, we'll see. Anything up here I need to actually worry about? Rites of passage? It costs money. That's the problem. I would love to do it. I'd also love to hold court, but it'll probably cost money as well. Alder refused a uh, conversion. Yeah. Well, he was the one that was like a, a 60, so... Let's not worry too much about it. Independence faction disbanded. Was she in it? She must have been running it, right? <laughs> that would explain why it disbanded. Okay. Right. Uh, that's fine. Now we wanted... So that was Lithuania was taken prisoner by my uh, cousin. And Vassal. Wait a second. What war did you just win against Lithuania? The Lithuanian subjugation war. Are you... Oh my god, I hate you so much. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> let me show you why I hate them so much. Three, two, one, and... Oh, look at that. A lot of our land changed into being Lithuanian. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that fantastic? Oh, wonderful. My vassal has become independent. Ah, <sighs> right. <laughs> Next problem on the list. Let's solve it. Would you convert if I gave you this position? How much do you hate me? 
a, a reasonable amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you hate me, like, a lot. Um, if I put you on the council, you will get positive 40 opinion for being on the council. Plus 10, I think, for putting him on the council, maybe? We might be able to do something with you, but we're not going to have a high chance of doing very much. On the positive side, Marshall doesn't really have a lot that she can do against us, I think. So let's maybe make Pooter on our council. Negative 73, it's only a 3% chance that she'd convert. Ah, <sighs> right. Okay. Uh, what land is over low county control? Vladimir and Timurov. Let's not worry about that. Let's put you on to managing my royal guards for now. Okay. Well. You have become the new target of my conquest because you're really, really annoying. I'm going to subjugate you. Why am I going to subjugate him? Because we need all of his land. Plus, we might as well take the Lithuanian land while we're at it because we need a little bit more land. He has no ally. Well, sorry, he has one ally. <laughs> My nephew, who is underneath Finland, but that's not a lot of strength he's bringing. He has no troops because he's just been in a war. We have no troops because we've just been in a war. It's a fair fight. Let's go. Now, where's your capital? Your capital's here, huh? Let's go. Hopefully this works. Raise all. I'm just going to go straight to their capital. No messing. Maybe they... I'm just hoping they don't do the same thing. Okay. Uh, their ally joined the war. I'm ready. Let's go. Immediately they're they're independent and I'm like, I'm marching on your capital. That's, that's where their army is. Okay. So they are kind of going for ours, but ours is a little bit difficult to get to from land from where they are. Yeah, they're sieging there. That's fine. We'll march our way in. We're sieging here. Okay, so that's four months till we get their capital. Is there anything we can do to speed it up? I mean, we could always leave our troops here and go and beat up their troops. Uh, it's, it is an option. How many troops would I leave? Pretty much all of them? Yeah. Let's do that. And then we can get on the boats. So we're going to control that one. I'm going to put... Yeah, well, that guy seems fine in charge of that army. Their ally only had 300 troops, so they're not doing anything. Let's go. Speed 5. I'm ready. Let's beat him up. They're running, as they should. Okay. Here. And then here. What well, We are going to catch them. Wonderful. We have caught them. Nice. Uh, you're sieging my island. Okay. We're about to take their cap uh, their capital. Cool. Uh, we are not maxed on battle war score, but we're getting there. They're running from the island. We're gonna actually going to catch them because they're so slow. Wonderful. We've now captured this guy. That's good. Uh, that's my nephew, who's... Um, so probably someone we can ransom. Nope. Anyone we can ransom? Holy moly, that's a lot of people. Anyone worth money? 106? I'll take 106. Yeah, this is where we're getting our money. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, let's take our troops. Do they have any left? They have 107. Uh, yeah. So they, they have 1,700 somewhere. That's, that's the number I was looking for. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, you? Spin around. I'm not... Yeah, we're, uh, th th oh, that's not good. That's my, um... Th those are my siege units. I needed those. <laughs> okay, they, they, at least the siege units lift. That's a positive. We've defeated the army and we've become infirm. Severe health penalty and negatives to all stats. Wonderful! <laughs> we need a new spy master. That's going to be the genius who is in our court. Okay. Anyone have money? You have three. Alright, anyone have more than three? <laughs> uh, no, but maybe once I take his title, um, they'll become independent and can use their own money. 
to pay for their ransoms. As in they'll become just an individual kind of guy. They only have 300 troops left. Where are you going? You want to go into the island. That's fine. Let's go to the island. My dear grandfather, I've been married off to the Val Jarl schooled. My Since I've been married off to the Val Jarl schooled, my days have been filled with nothing but misery. She seems to take great pleasure in others' uh, suffering, or other people's suffering. Even our subjects are terrorized. I fear for my safety here. Please don't forget about your devoted grandson. This is outrageous. Unforgivable. Can't jeopardize an alliance over this, or please be patient. I'm not going to jeopardize an alliance. You can hate me all you like. There's a reason I sent you into the middle of nowhere. And that was so that you did not bother me again. Okay. Um, merge our troops up. And we'll head somewhere in uh, siege. Right. Um, well, I mean, this is my... Well, no, it's not my land. It's Lithuania's land you're currently raiding. But I'm going to beat you up anyway. Because it should be my land. And then I'm going to see what we can do. Every man for himself. The forceful knock on my door clears every bit of drowsiness from my mind. Who disturbs a king at this hour? My late night visitor is none other than Ophiger. I have come to speak with you privately, away from listening ears. I have discovered something very interesting. Ophiger has discovered a secret of Kevador's. He is willing to share it with me if I let him off the hook. Uh, you owe me no longer. You think you can make demands? Or I'd rather have him in, your, in my pocket. I'd rather have you in my pocket than him. Uh, let's give up our house hook for the secret. He's a non-believer in what? In old U Ukonusko. He's a non-believer in a religion that isn't mine. Thanks. Uh, oh, train for a tournament. Definitely. Let's do that while extremely ill. We are well trained. Okay, that's fine. I'll take it. Right. Sieging here. Three months left. What comes around? I lean back in my chair, probably quite full, but yet another sultry treat passes or slips across my lips. The rigors of a bustling morning feel just uh, about buried. I realize I'm surrounded by countless empty plates of pudding. Countless. Then I spot drift of my daughter staring right at me. Hmm. My display may have a lasting impact on Drifa. Unconditionally. As I lean over the map in the council chamber, a sudden cr uh, creak turns my head towards the door. My daughter Gr Drifa appears in the hall. My daughter Drifa appears in the hallway. Uh, appears in the hallway, saunters in. Who is in the hallway, saunters into the room, seemingly uninterested in my presence. Then, then without warning, I am enclosed in a tight hug. She quickly lets go of an embarrassed expression. I look at her, a hidden tear in my eye, while my hand is squeezing her shoulder in an effort to reciprocate the gesture. Do not cry, do not cry. Going about my routine, I notice something unusual. My daughter Drifa sharing a hiding place with a mess of roasted almonds munching away. There has been a lot going on he here lately and she has become a bit rounder. I stagger away from the site. Is this how I act? So we can try and make her drop the habit. Um, what am I doing? I can lose comfort eater. Get changed ways or I can't deal with this now. I will teach her not to be a comfort eater. Wonderful. Um, okay, how's her health by the way? Poor. Poor. Uh, how's our education, by the way? 80 away. We will die the moment we get the perk. <laughs> Why do I say that? It's what always happens. You get the perk that's going to give you a huge health boost and you immediately drop dead. Our daughter has become a, a reckless, brilliant strategist. That's not bad. Um, why don't you become a shield maiden as well? She really doesn't want to become one. She's craven. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Denmark has won a war. Okay, I finished the siege. Somebody's trying to kill me. That's what that event was saying there. Give me 75 gold. That'll be great. I can also ransom you for an extra 45. That seems even better. Um, I mean, I guess Lithuania probably isn't um, yeah, using their money for much else, given that they don't have an army currently. Yeah, or at least they don't have a, like an obvious one. Let's head here and siege it. Oh, that one must have been worth war score. I didn't even think. It must have been worth 10. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Although it did say my holding is now occupied by somebody in the war. So that might mean that some... 
Yeah, it might mean that uh, actually what happened is we lost a bit of land somewhere. Hey, we now have whole a body. It's a medium health boost. Hopefully that's enough to keep us... Uh, we're feeling fine again. All right. All right. We're, we're, we're cutting it close. Five months left in the siege. I would love to fight that army. Let's assault fort. I know that we lost a lot of troops for that, but I don't want really want them, um, like, is yeah, I don't want them actually mounting a proper attack on us. We do hostage swapping. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm busy. I would love to fight them before they they break the siege. I failed. All right. Well, that's fine. Uh, there's a traitor who's trying to murder someone else. I'll let everybody know. Okay, we'll re-siege this. Uh, we got anyone else who's worth money? Yep. You're worth... Nope, you're worth a hook. Hook, hook. And hook. Okay. <laughs> Skork... Uh, Skorkver. You were the person trying to kill someone. I'm going to pardon you. That's fine. Finish the siege, split up our troops. Then we're going to go here, 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 and here. There we go. Uh, we captured yet another person who looks like a leader. We'll take a 10 gold uh, bounty off you. I know it wasn't the max they could have given us, but whatever. I inherited Mantarovo, apparently, along with some money. Mantarovo. Oh, that was Ragenhilder's old bit of land. She's gone. No. Well, we also inherited some things from her. Like a book. All right. And a Norse Warhammer, which increases raid speed. It's literally just better than our previous one. Okay, what's this? Demand artifact. You want the architecture of trade. Go away. No. Right, uh, where were we? Three family members can get married? My god. Um, do I have somebody to grant this to? Uh, I don't know. How about this guy? Noadi Hemiger of Rusa. He seems okay. Now give us somebody with really high uh, learning who will take over from Ragenhilder. Yeah. That seems fine. So now, um, that role can be held by this guy. Wonderful. That seems good to me. And he can get to converting some lands, like uh, this bit of land right there. Wonderful. Right. This is good. Working out where we were. <laughs> Spread out. <laughs> Let our supply come back slightly. Don't know what you're going to try and de-siege now. Just kind of going around in circles. Who's currently got this one? Occupied by Jarl Ear. Oh, that might have been the bit of land. Yeah, that might be in the bit of land that we lost the war score on. Yeah, why don't you... Wait, which one has the... Uh... Yeah, you have the uh, siege units. Why don't you go there? Why don't you go there? Why don't you go there? Go. That will kind of get into position. They've de-sieged that for me, which was very nice. Okay, Drifa has come of age. She is a skilled tactician and a holy warrior. Uh, well done. Uh, why don't you become a shield maiden? We no longer have a wet nurse. Is that because we no longer have any children? Uh, yes, that is because there is currently nobody who uh, is a child who we need to have a wet nurse for. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Go here. Let's see how this goes. Daughter is a shield maiden. That's good. Right. Scheme at court. I'm going to expose people in murder schemes because I don't want them to murder me uh, at some point. Yep. Okay. Two sieges going. Uh, you. Here. You. Here. You. Have the best leader you can. Might be us. There we go. 
That seems good to me. Although it might be... Yeah, I think it's still us. Alright, we're being attacked. We are winning. We have defeated their army. Again. Okay. I would really need the war to end uh, as soon as possible. If that's possible. Okay. Let's merge our army here. We'll take the lead again. But then we're just going to assault the fort. Loses us a ton of troops, but we get closer and closer. It still thinks we're going to win over here. I agree. I'm going to try and join in. We are winning over here. We have won. And we've taken the siege. Enforced demands. We get the Kingdom of Lithuania and all the land underneath it. Wonderful. Gained legitimacy. <laughs> Gained a lot of legitimacy. Arrange marriage. You would like... You're in charge of the Dane law, and you would like my grandson to matrilineally marry you. Alright. <laughs> I, I see no negative here. <laughs> She's in charge of this land over here. She would like... Well, I guess you want the alliance? <sighs> no, you want, you want someone named the... Ho it's a trick. She wants someone to join her holy war. She doesn't hold half the land that she used to hold. Ah, I see. Did Finland used to always control all of my land over here? What happened to this land? How did this become Finnish? Well, yeah, how did the Jarldom of Vespa leave my land? Installed by what now? Faction demand. Okay. So that, okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> All I'm going to say is if I don't have the numbers, I'm going to be very unhappy when I go and look at the Empire. Also, we just got some new core artifacts. What did we get? We got, um, Hinnicus's Saga. Okay, we also got the Sturdy Healing Guide, which is a medium health boost. We also got Nosewise's Pelt. Oh. I will put it over here. Yes, fantastic. Right. We have the money. Do we have the ability to do this? Decisions. Found a new empire. I need to have three or more kingdoms. That's a solvable problem. I just didn't read that part. <laughs> so we have Gartheriki. We should be able to create this one. Yeah, that's going to cost us 250. And we can create uh, Satmi up here. Yes. Okay. So it's going to cost me 500. So I actually need another, well, 500 from where we are. Betrothed can marry. Sure. Send that one off. Nominate successor to the Kingdom of Lithuania. What? What is Scandinavian elective? Of course, I vote for my player heir and daughter. <laughs> uh, anyone? Have, have I got? I was just seeing if I had hooks on anyone. Nope. Okay. Right. So, prisoners, nope, 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 <laughs> nope, <laughs> nope, and nope. So nobody has money. It's a little bit of a problem, ain't it? Uh, yeah, I don't really need the Kingdom of Lithuania either. Um, that's fine. They're not going to vote with me because they all hate me. That's okay. So. 500 gold. That's all we need. Let's disband our army. Okay. Do I have 500 gold? I have... 5 times 40. I have 200 gold. I just realized I might have it. <laughs> I have 200 gold there. I have... I don't want to get rid of that one. Well, maybe. 200 plus an extra 160. We got 360 on there. So we're 360 gold up on where we are. So 360 gold puts me up at uh, plus 30 means I'm 110 gold off the goal. Okay. 110 gold off. Let's wait a second for our troops to reinforce. They're reinforcing super quickly right now, so I'm just letting that happen. 
You want to pay me 75 gold? I accept. 100%, yeah. Anyone else want to, uh, you know, offer themselves? Like, you know, a little bit of money for to let themselves out of prison? Nope. Okay. So, we're 115 up. We know we had 300 and... Uh, 20 or 60, I can't remember. We're still missing, like, 50 gold. Okay. That's fine. I'm still waiting for my troops to reinforce slightly. We have a lot of reinforcing they can do, so... Uh, we need to hold off. Poland just lost a war. Okay. That's fine. Chill. Child of my dynasty, Hjalmar. Okay. I think we're kind of at the point where it's no longer reinforcing as quickly. So that's good. Uh, this is a good point for us to go and raid uh, Finland. It's not out of spite. Okay, it's a little out of spite, but, you know, it might also work. This guy's learned Norse. There's an independence faction against me. You, I will probably give you independence if you just wait for me to give, get an empire. Then I, I can give you your, your freedom back. I just need you temporarily. Okay? Just like, you know, a couple of years of being subjugated and then you can go free. How does that sound? I suppose it's not the best pitch anyone's ever made. <laughs> it's just a couple of years uh, underneath me and then you can be free afterwards. Hmm. Yeah, no, I don't think that's going to work. But anyway. Prolific. That means, I assume we had a lot of children. Prolific. Uh, but... Well, I mean, I guess I could have clicked on it and seen, but I can't remember how to get to achievements without clicking on that, so... Uh, that's fine. I mean, I guess... Yeah, we didn't get the Steam achievement, so it doesn't really matter. Um, right. Who are these two people? You would like Sif to normally marry. I just realized the one previously that was offered by Dane Law was also matrilineal, so of course it was stupid. Yes. Um, you would like Sif to marry... This guy, my grandson. This grandson, by the way, actually looks like he could be an heir. Look at that. Those are fantastic stuff that he's got going on. He has two virtues. He has great traits. He's going to get a huge amount of diplomacy due to that being his last one here. So I want you to marry Sif. It doesn't even get us an alliance. That's, that's the thing. It's just purely for the marriage. Um, It does say his daughter, though. Oh, this guy isn't close enough to me to get a alliance. I see. Oh, wait. No, do we already have an alliance? Also, Ireland. Wait a second. Ube died? How, how are you in charge of Ireland? I'm to Ube. I don't know. U I, did Ube ever exist? Oh, uh, he's in charge of Scotland. He was in charge of Scotland. But he's also gone. <laughs> Uh, where's Ube? Oh, there we go. He, he's still alive. He's just, like, hanging around. Do you want to come back to my court, Ube? Welcome in. Well, welcome back to my court. Yeah, sure. Um, he's just a pal. He can come to our court. Where was I? Did some... Uh, I was considering the thing, but I think because I clicked off it, it's gone forever. Oh. Well, you know, that works for me. <laughs> That works for me. Right. Ube's back. Fantastic. I mean, you're kind of garbage, but like, welcome to court. <laughs> we can maybe get him some land. You've converted the faith. Well done. We have a great granddaughter called Thurun. Okay. Let's, uh, where are we? Something I was going to do with this guy. Yeah, let's get you converting some land over here. Like, I don't know. This bit of land seems good to me. Uh, and then leave. I just got attacked by some other raiders for no reason at all. Okay, we have a grandson who is a dwarf. I'm, I'm just checking the uh, parents. Okay, it just seems odd that our, our line has been filled with giants and then we have one dwarf. Um, okay, we only need 200 more gold and not even that. Uh, the Han Warhammer, we're selling for 40. 
Grimma's battle axe was selling for 40. We only need another um, 81. All right, well, I know where to get 80. Uh, we can get 80 by, where are we? In core artifacts, getting rid of Nosewise's pelt. I guess it's 80, we need a singular point and we're good to go. Yeah. Wait, I'm at war? <laughs> Did I inherit another war somewhere? <laughs> okay, I have my money. Right. Um, I can do this while at war, right? This event. You are at war. Nope, you cannot do it while you're at war. Okay then, let's not do that then. Let's raise our troops over here. Go win against Minsk. Right. Uh, we'll lead, sure. Seems fine. Child of my dynasty, Ali. Okay. We have enough already, right? Mm, no, I still need the men-at-arms, really. There we go. Now I have the men-at-arms. Now I have enough to win the war against Minsk. Right. A familiar reflection. Uh, this is the one where we can see... Um, our family and in, in our grandchildren. That's fine. We need a guardian for my grandson. You're you're an intelligent giant. You're gonna do a diplomacy education, and you are going to be educated by the genius. I think that you are actually pretty good. Yeah, you've got potential, Thorfinner. Right. March our way in here. A curse undone. My rival is dead. Okay, yeah, they're the ones who started a house feud against us. Uh, we have not really reciprocated that much. We're in their fort. We have a learning perk. I already have whole of body. Oh, I should probably have skipped out on this. Let's take cultural fascination progress. Uh, although I do need the small health boost. I'll take every health boost I can get. Right, uh, assault fort. Unar has been born. She is club-footed. Okay, we lost a lot of troops there. For a second there, I thought they became part of Ruthenia. I mean, they're already, they are part of Ruthenia, but for a second there, I thought, like, they had just become part of Ruthenia and we were then at war with Ruthenia. But no, the war is over. I can disband these troops, right? Yep. Okay. Gain more legitimacy. All right, so let me double check, double check. You do not fulfill all the requirements. Get this one and it will work. So we are going to create this kingdom here. We are then going to create this kingdom here. Okay, found. A new empire. Okay then. Let's go. A realm reforged. I've done what no one else could. I've united the lands of the Gartheriki with those of Lithuania and Bajarma land. Definitely what I thought I was going to do originally. I love how it says you are now a mighty high king. Just couldn't continually confuse things because we've created an empire tier title when we were previously a kingdom title but anyway um all of my vassals and shamans have finally gathered before my throne and i've earned this moment in their eyes and more importantly in the eyes of the gods as high chaman the shaman uh, fruriker places the crown upon my head i declare my new empire it is what my servant vassals are here to witness as the declaration leaves my lips all the power of my realm spiritual as well as temporal kneels before me. I become the High King of Garth Ariki. Okay. We are now a king. Sorry, a High King. It's confusing. Right. Succession. <laughs> There's a lot being lost. So, on succession, I get the High Kingdom of Gartheriki and Osel. Is that it? 
That's actually it. Wait a second. Oh, wait, no. Okay, I understand. I understand. I understand where we're going wrong. Scandinavian elective. I then vote for my heir, who is going to be... Well, I mean, it could be this per... Are you... You're... She is 42 now. She's actually a little old to be her heir. Okay, I'm going to vote for her anyway, because that'll, fix, that'll make our succession look nice. Let's force the vote of anyone we can force the vote of. I mean, let's be realistic. We're going to die soon. Let's, uh, let's focus on getting it working the way we need it to. All right, unpause. Balder is my new heir. Skjaldvar is my new heir. I will lose four titles. Why would I lose the High Chiefdom of... Or why would I lose the High Kingdom? What possible reason could there be for me losing the High Kingdom? Well, the possible reason would be if this isn't going to somebody who's my dynasty. It is going to someone who's my dynasty. Okay. Baldur is my new heir. Okay. Let's wait a little bit for it to work out what's happening. Child of my dynasty, Thora. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's see how it looks now. So, who is this going to? She's second in line now. Okay, that makes more sense. Who is first in line by vote score? Alder. Alder is first in line. Why? She is a woman. She is a vile heretic. Okay. So I can't vote for a woman. That's fair enough. Right. We will find somebody else. I mean, it's not really fair enough, but it will... <laughs> I understand the reason that they have given here. Let me see if we can find somebody. Some of all skills. Guthmunder would be okay. Obviously, vile heretics um, are a problem. We have a lot of really good daughters. Currently a bit of an issue because... Um, yeah. For obvious reasons. Hogni is almost okay. Almost. Um, okay. While we're here, by the way, I just want to see, can I do the uh, Rite of Passage? No. Okay. That's fine. Um, eligible. Extended family and claimants. I think because we can't vote, we, we can't vote for our daughters, right? I think Balder is not a terrible option. Vote score, I vote Balder. Okay. Kingdom of Lithuania. I've changed, I'm changing my vote. My new vote is for Balder. Go by vote score. He's probably not anywhere in line. Uh, yeah, he's not even close. Where is he? So, well, I mean, he was high up there in some of all skills, right? No, that was Guthmund there. Uh, he had 15 stewardship. Balder. I vote for Balder. Gartheriki. I vote for Balder. We have a force vote in here as well. That's nice. Lithuania. I have no force votes. That's okay. You're all them. I, I can literally choose. I choose Balder. Boomgarther. I choose Balder. Right, let's see how this looks. <laughs> oh, something in here. Poor manners. This guy has poor manners. I thought he was really small, but the proportions didn't look right. No, it's just we're really tall. Um, Better out than in, my dad always said. That was highly inappropriate. Certainly, you must agree. Um, we can make him learn proper manners. Or, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's try and make him learn proper manners. That's fine. Right. Succession. Two titles will be lost. It's, we're getting better. So we're going to get Bajarmaland from Confederate Partition, because it doesn't have Scandinavian elective right now. Okay. So Lithuania is going to this dude. 
Lapland. Which is the name of Satme. Okay, it's going to this dude from Confederate... Or it's going to my daughter via Confederate partition. Okay. Okay. Titles of their own succession. High Kingdom of Gartheriki. Kingdom of Gartheriki. The Earldom of... Yeah, so we're getting all of these. These titles are coming to us. I think. Those two titles are leaving. The heir to this is Balder. Okay. So our succession is fixed. <laughs> we will lose everything except Gartheriki. Which is fine. Because that's where we are now. We will gain... Uh, Timorovo, Vladimir, Suzdal, Novgorod, and Osel upon succession. That is fine. That is absolutely fine. Okay. I think I'm going to use this moment of peace to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Now we have an empire. Things are a little bit less panicky for us. It's not great, but it's a little bit less panicky. Uh, next step for us is to somehow, like, bring some sort of semblance of, um, control to our realm. I think we're going to have to spend a long time sorting vassals, as in making sure there are religion, maybe making sure there are our culture eventually. We're maybe going to want to start looking at culture as well, as well. We have a lot of money coming in now. It's probably a good time to look at our legend, if we can look at our legend and see whether we can get the money from it. Although next character I imagine is the time to start that but maybe even the character after that given his age but we'll see anyway thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time goodbye